If you enjoy this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you never miss out on another absolutely fantastic review. Enjoy! Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing Sola Chagokin GX74 Getter 1 Dynamic Classics. Getter 1 comes from the 1974 manga and anime Getter Robo. Renowned scientist Professor Saotome develops his greatest work, the Getter Robo Project. From the Getter Project, Professor Saotome creates the combining machine Getter Robo. Powered by Getter Rays and designed for space exploration. The Professor recruits three elite men to pilot Getter Robo, Ryoma, Hayato, and Musashi. Not long after Getter Robo's completion, the ancient dinosaur empire arises to take the Earth back from humans and re-establish their empire. Now, Ryoma and his team must use Getter Robo to defend the Earth and stop the threat of the dinosaur empire. Getter 1 is the combination of Getter Machine Eagle, Jaguar, and Bear. Getter 1 is the most balanced mode of Getter Robo and is typically the first mode to be combined into. Be sure to check out the 1974 manga and anime Getter Robo, they are absolutely fantastic. Solo Chigokin GX74 Getter 1 Dynamic Classics is another fantastic release in the Solo Chigokin line. Getter 1 has a fantastic sculpt, paint apps, accessories, and a great range of articulation. Let's jump right into it and take a look at Getter 1 himself. Getter 1 has a great range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right. The shoulders have a great range of movement. They can move in and out and rotate a full 360 degrees. To give us a better range of motion in the shoulders, a smaller chest piece has been included. To attach, simply swap it out for the normal chest piece. With the smaller chest piece attached, now Getter 1 can reach across his chest and has a better range of motion as a whole in the shoulders. The shoulder pads are on their own hinges. The arms can come up 90 degrees. We have a bicep swivel. We have single jointed elbows. We have an elbow swivel. The fists are on ball joints so we can tilt and spin them freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward and backward. In the mid chest, we have Getter 1's very cool Getter Beam gimmick. So the panel in the center of the chest can actually flip over and reveals a Getter Beam lens, which is definitely very cool. The legs can kick forward this much, backward this much, and come out to the sides this much initially. An additional waist piece has been included that gives Getter 1's legs a better range of motion. To attach, simply swap it out for the standard waist piece. Now for a new waist piece attached, Getter 1 can kick up a little bit more, backwards a little bit more, and come out to the sides a little bit more. We have very nice, soft ratcheting double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel, and also, we can pull down on the ankle joint giving the feet a little bit more range of movement. Getter 1 has a nice solid and sturdy feel to him thanks to his die cast content. Here are the die cast parts from what I can tell. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Getter 1 is absolutely fantastic. Starting from the top, we have the head. At the top of the head, we have Getter 1 signature angular accents with a vibrant red paint app. This paint app is used on various parts of the body. In the center of the forehead, we have our cockpit window with a blue paint app. On the sides of the head, we have metallic silver spiked accents. The eyes have a hexagon sculpt with a vibrant yellow paint app. In the mouth area, we have more blue windows. 
The neck has a metallic silver paint with red accent lines. Moving down, the chest has a nice large red sharp angular sculpt. We can see the teal windows of Getter Machine Eagle. On the top of the shoulders, we have the metallic silver Getter Tomahawk ports. Just below the upper chest, we have our Getter Beam port. The Getter Beam lens is a glossy black, which is kind of odd. It really should be a glossy or maybe a translucent magenta. The biceps and lower chest have a bluish white paint app. The forearms have Getter One signature Getter cutters with a semi sharp sculpt and an off white paint app. The fists have a nice robotic sculpt. The waist has a vibrant yellow paint app with a black belt at the top. The legs have a smooth, slim sculpt with a bluish white paint app and red accents. The feet have an even simpler sculpt with a vibrant red paint app. For accessories, First up we have Getter One's hands. We have a pair of open hands, chopping hands, cupping hands, holding hands, and one handshaking hand. Each of the hands have a fantastic robotic sculpt with a red paint app and gunmetal panel lines. The hands easily attach via ball joints. Now for a new set of hands, we can mix and match them to fit our dynamic poses. Next up we have our alternate face. Now this face might look the same, but there's some minor differences. The eyes have a sharper angular sculpt and the cockpit window is now a translucent blue. I think this face is meant to represent the upgrade where the cockpit has been moved from the chest to the head. To attach, simply remove the standard face and swap it with the new one. Next, we have our pair of Getter Tomahawks. The body of the Tomahawks have a nice club-like sculpt with metallic blue paint app. The body of the blade has a bluish metal paint app, while the edge of the blade has a metallic silver paint app. To equip Getter 1 with the Tomahawks, remove the end cap of the Tomahawk, insert the Tomahawk into the holding hand, and then replace the end cap. Now with the Getter Tomahawks in hand, Getter 1 can cut down his foes. Next up we have the Getter Wing with a very simple sculpt. The outside of the Getter Wing has a red paint app while the inside has a burgundy paint app. To attach, simply lift up the panel in Getter 1's upper back and insert the Getter Wing into the open slot. Now with the Getter Wing attached, Getter 1 is powered up and ready for flight. Next up we have one of the coolest accessories, the Getter Machines. First up we have Eagle with a very nice aerodynamic sculpt and a vibrant red body. On the top of the nose we have blue accents, the cockpit windows are translucent blue, the upper panels have a teal paint app, and the thrusters have a glossy black paint app. Next we have Jaguar with a nice bluish white paint app for the body. On the sides we have dark blue accents, the cockpit windows are translucent blue, the thrusters have a glossy black paint app. Finally, we have Bear with a vibrant yellow paint up for the body. The cockpit windows are translucent blue. Just below the cockpit, we have two blue panels. On the sides of Bear, we have our two large rockets. The thrusters have a dark matte gray paint app. A very cool thruster effect part has been included that plugs directly into the Getter machines. We'll set this all the way up once we take a look at our very cool stand. The stand has a very nice mechanical sculpt with a gold nameplate on the front. The stand can open up to store Getter One smaller accessories. The stand comes with two necks that plug into the back of the stand. We have a solid, adjustable neck that plugs directly into Getter One's back, and a fully articulated neck with a clamp. You can swap the heads between the two necks. If you're going to put Getter One into a flying pose using the articulated neck, you will need to tighten the hinge screws for extra support. We also have a connected set of launch pads for our getter machines that plugs into either front corner of the stand. Now thanks to our stand, we have a cool way to display getter 1, support our getter machines, and support getter 1 in flying poses. Now that we have the accessories out of the way, let's do some size comparisons.
As a whole, Getter 1 turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is very well done, the paint apps are anime accurate, clean, and very crisp, the accessories are awesome, and Getter 1's posable. I'm so glad we have this anime accurate release. I have to admit, I am burned out on our tubby Getter 1 from Getter Robo Armageddon. It's definitely refreshing to have a figure of this classic design. I absolutely recommend picking this figure up. Now how much does Getter 1 cost? I imported my Getter 1 figure for $89, which is a great price. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see more Solo Chogokun reviews or another absolutely fantastic review, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.